welcome back. Getting ready to move into our final segment for today. And of course, we have the one and only Chef Sean Quillen Chef with us. Sean Good Quillen. Morning. Good morning. Now, Sean, normally you're here tempting us with all kind of savory I dishes know. that we know we have to get a run in afterwards. <laughs> today, something has changed. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I usually go give, not give me that kind of thing, but so we're going salad today. Yeah. <laughs> but today... I, but you know, a lot of people ask, of course, healthy eating and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I could do it in another way. I don't like it. The like butter is nice and chicharron, nice mm. and fat, nice and flavor. But we have in Belize, again, I always like Belizean food. We have a bounty of, of course, everything grows here. Yeah. We have nice vegetables. And there's another question that always comes up. <coughs> yeah. Tourists come, they have um, allergies, gluten allergy, they have um, celiac disease, that kind of thing. But we don't understand it, maybe. Or mm -hmm. we, but we could always subs we don't have to go in a cookbook and we say, I don't know, a foreign kale or something. Mm -hmm. But although we have it here, we do. We have actually a wide array of vegetables, fresh vegetables available in Belize now, that which you know. is fantastic. You can get arugula, you can get kale, you Definitely. can get beets, you can. Years get ago, we didn't have that. We only had iceberg lettuce with uh, yes. one garden salad. May I be lettuce with. Carrots. Carrots, yeah. Only iceberg. <laughs> to rock and And romaine is easy to find now. No! Yes, greens are easy to find For now. For example, here, this is. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody know that one day. You know, you know that one day? John, no, 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 oh, we're no, doing no sniff tests? Yeah. Basil? No. This is arugula. Oh, this is arugula. arugula. Cilantro. Cilantro. Wait, to the front. Front. Cilantro. Arugula. This one is beautiful. This is a nice one. By the way, all of this group on the Western Highway. Yes. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of greens here. Basil. All that we got here. I know it's basil. Basil, we got parsley, we got scallion, nice. we got kale, we got mesco mix, we got cherry tomato. We have this one, we look like, I'm eating now a Charlie Price steel. <laughs> <laughs> but that one has the look. Huh? <laughs> has the look. Yeah, but uh, rosemary. Mm -hmm. Some of them are important. Hello. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make salads today. Thanks for Sankas. So if you are on a diet, if mm -hmm. you, because it's hard to convince people that a salad can be a meal. Yes, it and can, that can be, be a meal. delicious. And I will show you right now because sometimes it's a low carb diet and stuff. Mm -hmm. You could get your protein from, look at how much protein it has. Beans. Mm -hmm. and, and we have, of course, our products courtesy yes. of Santiago Castillo Limited. We want to say thank you for them for partnering in this uh segment and what that does is uh, you know when you cook beans you take long you're done your beauty and gas yeah yeah this case <laughs> easy you come home and work you just pop just the can one so we're gonna make the first salad which is i have a variety of beans okay black beans okay. these are drained drain it you could rinse it so you don't have the blackness okay black bean this is red, red kidney be red kidney beans this are for fufu rice and beans yeah we have good too black eye peas uh, it don't look good already right, yeah corn Awasi. Awasi. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. No, it's that. I'll be excluded from but, <laughs> By the way, look at the colors already. Yeah. Ooh. It looks like. So we're doing a Western bean Union, salad? Garifuna flag. You look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're going to make a bean salad. We have more corn. More awasi, all okay. kind. We got this awasi. kind. Okay. Oh, baby corn. Baby corn. <clears throat> what is going on? So at this point, these are lone beans. Okay. We've got to flavor it up. We're going to put some. We have an. Uh, you know what goes well in there? Cumin. Some, oh, some Excellent. cumin. Excellent. You got a car, everybody use cumin there. I need my salt. Where's my salt? Black pepper. Somewhere under all the greens. Mm -hmm. I see the salt now. All right, always season your food. So I put, I put cumin. Black pepper, Black salt. salt. Black pepper. I put some agalay. Mm -hmm. I like them kinds. Extra virgin. Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> Black bean, <laughs> corn, Okay. <laughs> olive oil. What else we need? Oh, I know. Lime juice. <laughs> so you're making like a vinaigrette? Not really. It's just um, a vinaigrette would be a emulsification of oil. We're going to make a vinaigrette in a minute. Okay. okay. But bye. You saw you look. So all we have salt, you. pepper, cumin, olive oil, and lime. Lime. You know what I put in there? Cayenne pepper. Okay. Mm. Paprika is here somewhere. See? Red pepper. Put that to kind nice. Cement, yeah. Cement, bro. And these packets are. <laughs> what is? These packets are. Oregano. Easy to use. Oh yeah, these things are easy, you know. You just throw it. What else? There you go. Whoa. Hey, what else we need? Time? Yeah, what I time? Don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> spoon. <laughs> the one with the slotted one, the holes. Okay, this there you go. This is a slotted spoon. All right, good. <laughs> so, you see that there? Where we put black pepper salt, 
cumin. I don't know, important. that doesn't look so delicious yet, Sean. Vietnam, Vietnam, okay. Vietnam, 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 Vietnam. Okay. Because everybody's watching saying yeah. where's the niceness, right? Yeah. Look at their faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Nothing. It's good actually good. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. Actually, it's a garbanzo bean. <laughs> more salt. Oh, we're adding more beans. More lime. Anyway, we are left it so for joy, right? Because I know you know look appealing, right? Because <laughs> my belief is, where's the rice? <laughs> Me not eat beans without rice. <laughs> kind of thing this. Anyway, can we do this? Since my lady said you know look, we are packing the I'm just saying, time. I'm watching the faces it's over true. here. It's true. Okay, it's true. All uh -huh. right. Okay, I will play this and I will come back to this. But, but taste it, bro. Bean salad is something that actually you can get at restaurants and a lot of people mm -hmm. like. It's like a Southwest salad. Yeah. It's very nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'll mm. Put a little, oh, I could put some basil there. Anyway, we'll we come back to this, yeah? Because I didn't say, you know, look nice. You know, the beans, the beans have it with the taste of meat. It's a cumin, too. Mm. I, I just love it. The it's cumin good. is good. Oh, we'll come back to that. So we'll put that over there. Mm -hmm. Thank you very so much. So this is our, <coughs> what is this called? Bean salad. Bean salad. Bean salad, the first one. All right, next one, bro. Uh-huh. Watermelon. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows watermelon. Right? Spring so seed. So what kind of salad are we going to make with watermelon? This one is going to be a watermelon and arugula or spinach salad. So you, so you make it up as you go along? No, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the times. <laughs> But then you say. So a salad can have fruit. Yes, I was just gonna say watermelon. You might say watermelon or fruit, but we're gonna dress it up, sex mm -hmm. it up. We're gonna take this, put it all in the garbage, right mm -hmm. over there. <coughs> we are bring that mm -hmm. garbage right now. We throw it there. All right. All right. Good. We now dice it up. Sean, tell us about arugula because arugula? So it isn't something we Belizeans are typically used to in our salads, and it <coughs> has a very unique taste. Arugula is almost peppery. Yeah. It's like, I think I like cousin to spinach and it mm -hmm. peppery, peppery. All yeah. right. I'll we'll put that there. So we're going to dice the watermelon and the watermelon nice and cool, right? Yes. Put it in the fridge first, right? And it has seeds. It has seeds. It's hard to find the watermelon without seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I put some watermelon here. All right. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> what else I put here on this? They have an herb up there. They were very. We're gonna go work wicked with this, and it is this one. Which Smell one? Smell that one, bruh. This one, yeah. What is that? <clears throat> wow. It's like when you brush your teeth, this man like cool get time. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah? So, what is it then? Mint! Mint! mint. Yerba buena, mint! It smells like, that's why it smells like peppermint, right? Mm. Mint and watermelon, wicked! No. Just when you think uh, in your home you've got all these things and they're not. They're, they shouldn't be compatible. The yes. professional is showing you. They're compatible, they work. I always say, well, cool, yeah, man. <laughs> Why? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What's all right. Next? Okay, so, let's... watermelon, fresh mint. And... Let us make a vinaigrette. You asked me about vinaigrette earlier. Mm -hmm. You see this watermelon, he boring, he watery. I don't know how boring. Well, uh -huh. it's nice, but we have to make it sexy, right? Mm. Mm. So, we're going to make a vinaigrette, lime juice. All right. What is going with now? Oh, you could put cheese on this. You know that queso? Cheese? Queso blanco. In lime juice? Queso fresco, not the, not the lime. On the salad, we could put, you know queso fresco? Mm -mm. No. Queso blanco? You know what's queso blanco? Yes. That's blue. Oh, no. This is blue cheese. Blue Where's cheese. your? Feta. All right. Good. All right. Ooh. So, we're going to make this vinaigrette. That, that looks good. Please put some oil, bruh. Right. You pour it. I'm gonna put some mustard. Mm -hmm. Will you follow me? I hope you know. Yeah, you gotta review those ingredients. What do we put in there? We put in lime, we put in olive oil, we put in mustard. We're gonna put some salt. That's it? Right there. Right here. I don't know, Jan. Put more, man. All right. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some honey because we want it nice and sweet. Pour the honey, Mr. Jan. All right. Then I will use the. <laughs> so this is important so people don't have to go and get the, the they can get the Italian and the ranch, but the vinaigrette is why? more delicious. <clears throat> you know why I don't like well I talk right when they stop make nice. Ranch vinaigrette, uh, Thousand Island uh, these heavy to me on the palate is very heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Remember Belize our hot subtropical climate, right? It means now that if I'm in this, you know, 12 o'clock, usually we eat lunchtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very warm. 
you can imagine it a nice refreshing salad with a refreshing vinaigrette that's lime and, and just a light you know heavy right yeah mm -hmm. what's the uh Mm, proportions for the vinaigrette. It's three parts, three parts oil and one part vinegar. Or acid, the acid in this case would be lime. Yes, Abra. Three parts oil, one part acid. Lime juice. But it's just like so. But when you put it on that one, oh we have no. <laughs> All right. My goodness. So we put watermelon. Watermelon. In. Sometimes even not too sweet, you put a li. This is called maceration. You put a li. Brown sugar. Sugar. Make it sweet. Mm -hmm. You want to taste sweet sour sap? Taste on too. Okay. <laughs> now, spinach. Very cheap, you see? That kind of thing, you go to the market. You know, expensive for me. Mm. Give it a little cut. It's called a, like a julienne or a chiffonade. We'll get a plate. <clears throat> so now we are starting to make this. We're not using here. arugula in this? Yes, let's put arugula. Thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. I like Marlene, you know. She always reminds me of her, too. <laughs> Taste this one, sir. But it, I love it. I tell you that. Taste it or smell it? Taste it. No, taste it. But it's peppery. It might not taste good. It tastes bitter. <laughs> Look at John's face. It tastes bitter. <laughs> wait, man. Wait, 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 wait. You see that, that the thing about cooking? There's a bite with arugula yes. that people aren't used to. But guess what? That bitter. Mm -hmm. But with then the when sweet. you put it with that with acid, um, this was sweet. Part in the mouth, my boy. Part mm. in the mouth. Okay. Arugula. Mm -hmm. Spinach. Remember the mint now. You see the mint will give the balance no way they look for. Right? Then you put the watermelon. You see that guarantee that may taste bitter, yes, that's true. <laughs> but John, you can have some vinaigrette to taste the taste <laughs> of your mouth. But it's gonna taste better. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, they look good, right? Yes. Colorful. Yeah, it looks good. It looks very good. Everything comes from Billy is nothing imported, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. What is? Remember the feta cheese? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But remember the vinaigrette? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you again? Oil, honey, lime juice, mustard. Dijon mustard or any mustard? Dijon. Look at that now, Jan. Yes. Look at it, Jan. Serious. Hi, Jan. And I just vegetables, Jan. <laughs> and then you finish it with some queso blanco, some feta cheese, some goat milk cheese, some. Why? Are you say vegetable? Oof. Why? Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a good salad. That looks like egg, that And before seriously. you eat it, please try it now. Because I wanted to try a bite of with the spoon here, I think, because mm -hmm. it was spoon here. Why? It's because, remember, the, the arugula alone was bitter. Now you are getting one. Balance in your mouth. in your mouth. Party in your mouth. All right. All right, you got to get cheese. some cheese try and everything. some cheese. Now, are there <coughs> other fruits you can maybe <coughs> use for something like this? Yes, guess where you put that boy? Mango. Uh huh. Boy. What else? Well, um, tangerine, uh -huh. orange, orange goes well with this. Mm. Yes, it makes sense now to you. It makes a lot of sense. Binaru, you know the lime. Binaru, I. All right, put that over there now. Good. See that two salad done, but we are come back to that bean. Make a feel like you know good. <laughs> I like that of this, my lady. So all right. we, we could put this all so over there. So we did two salads. We did one that was just canned beans, mm -hmm. two salads, or cooked beans, cooked beans, and corn. Black bean, corn, cumin. Very important to put the cumin in that one. All right. Good. All right. We made a vinaigrette. The technical part, enough for the cut the watermelon, you know. Then, daddy, daddy, daddy. Vinaigrette, remember. Three parts oil, one part acid. It could be red wine vinaigrette. You put red wine vinegar. You want mm -hmm. a cider vinegar, you put cider vinegar. Balsamic lime. vinaigrette. Balsamic vinegar. Mm hmm Yeah. And then you need the mustard or that's just for a honey the mustard, mustard taste? No, the mustard actually helps the binding process. Okay. It's called emulsifier to the emulsification. Okay. okay. So you make it stay together because like a mayonnaise is a permanent emulsification. It stays, it's always in a bottle like that. You ever go to the market or you see some vinaigrette, half I got the oil at top? Yeah. Yeah. They are temporary. That's why we use the blender to suspend the molecules. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah, but everything is just science, right? But we just that's right. <laughs> I can't put on this, so this is science too. <laughs> so this, they, this will be our third dish now. Yeah, I'm doing the third dish now. Why they put on gloves? Because we are going, I'm going to, to touch work the with... beetroot. No, we made that vinaigrette. No, we're gonna make a warm vinaigrette. Okay. Mm. Can you put some vinegar in the pot? I put that on my fire, right? Warm yes. vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So our third one is going to be a beetroot salad. Beetroot salad. Put put like put enough, bruh. Poor bruh. Pour like bitters. No, you pour bitters. All you right. may throw for the dead too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, John, 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 the man. All right. All right. So we got some. I love this one. 
And the vinegar, vinegar works, cider nice. You got that, cider. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay, what I'm doing now. So you're heating up vinegar. Vinegar. And oh, sugar. Ah, the sugar, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Salt. Salt. And, yes, I'm coming to that one. Okay. A little bit of water. water. Make that get warm, right? Yeah. We'll come back to that one there. I like that. So, I don't know how much time people have actually boiled vinegar, but that's interesting. That's the first time I'm yeah. seeing it, actually. <laughs> nice, guys. That are like sweet and sour chicken. Now it's, that the Asian, that the restaurants. It's, you go eat sweet and sour chicken. Uh -huh. That's the acid, the vinegar, vinegar. sugar, you know. Mm, okay. It will taste like a sweet and sour. Remember back to your, your friend. Root. Beetroot, we always eat at the market, it's hard, it's a grown vegetable, mm -hmm. but we rarely buy it. Very good, you know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> we don't like buying it. It's very healthy. Uh, there's also the canned ones you can Oh, yes, there's yeah. the canned yeah. ones, true. Yes, you could put it in a can. Mm -hmm. However, beetroot. Now, you can do this two ways. You could peel it, <coughs> boil it to cook it, to get it soft, to eat it. Okay. However, I don't like to boil it because all the nutrients, nutrients go in the water. Mm -hmm. Then the water nice and good and then this... Defeat the purpose. This, yes, you drink the water. Then you drink the water. <laughs> so this one looks shriveled up because I baked it in the oven. Okay. Really? I bake it whole. Then I take a skewer to find out when you're ready. And a joker, right? Mm -hmm. and so like had, you baked a potato. Yes, just like you're baking a potato. Oh. And then you check it, right? Mm -hmm. If you had the regular, you're not ready. So you joke it to lick yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes? Right. Good. Yeah. All right. Put on gloves because you look like you're on foot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we are slice this up. Okay. So you have to uh, cook it before or you can use it hmm? raw? Uh, I wonder. You prefer I've never used it raw. I don't know how it is raw. But cooked is, you know, they have a, they have a you know, sugar cane. Obviously, I'm yeah. not a beet fan, right? So I'm just, but there's, yeah, there's beet sugar. It's actually a sweet. Yes, I was just going to yeah. say sugar comes from sugar cane, but mm -hmm. there's a sugar that comes from, from beet. beet. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that means it's going to leave sweet. Sweetness to it. Now, remember, we're all, we're, we're not just throwing anything we find on the market, pan the plate and call it salad, you know. We didn't make flavors. Remember that vinaigrette when we done make, mm -hmm. it had, the arugula was bitter, but then the vinaigrette balanced it out. Okay. So this is kind of sweet. Remember when they put the little acid now. Mm -hmm. See that? It reduced. It get thick. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna make it thicker. I'm gonna put some cornstarch. Cornstarch. We always know cornstarch Everybody thickens. Everybody knows that that will thicken, thicken. Leave it a water. This is called a slurry. You cannot, you can never add cornstarch straight to your pot, bruh. Okay. You get hard. You get lumpy. So, so you, you dilute, dilute it, it before and add it as a liquid. A little okay. bit, then you see your hand now. Now you can take this one, Mr. John, and you can stir it and it'll get hard. All right, John, you know how to use that one? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> uh -huh. The red one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I slice the bit into slices. All right. This thing nice, you know, Marlene, and, and, and it's very attractive too, you know. It's a very colorful. Everything colorful so far. We've gone back to that beet one. But here's the thing. I'll be honest. I don't like beets. It's just too earthy of a flavor for me. Too earthy. Once it's baked, is it does it taste any different? Well, we're gonna find out. I think. Can you can you tell me ahead of time before I do the sampling on air? It's nice, guy, because then we have put the sauce that John is making. How you look, bro? Mm, okay. Oh, good. You need a little bit more make it get firm up. Mm -hmm. Don't go make this now when you go home and I say, ah, you can make this. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> I always use a glove like I said. Let me use this plate. Okay. Right. I will plate up now. I just arrange it up in a little way. Eh? Boom, boom, boom. So you could bake it, you could boil it. Yeah, you know what? I could use the next plate too. Okay. From here. Right, something's yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. Something's happening. Something's happening. Why? <laughs> that sounds like a nervous reaction, <laughs> <by> John. <laughs> it's bubbling. Yeah. You need more starch? Yeah, I need more starch. <laughs> All right. Boy. <laughs> All right. You know, you could. Uh, you always add more. You never add too much. You can't take it out back. You could over. You could understand, but no, you can't suck it over. Right? <laughs> okay. You could keep sugar out of bone. You could do that sometimes. All right. So there you go. All so right. you want a thick consistency there? Yes. Let me throw some Belizean favorite cilantro in another dressing there too, bro. Try this cilantro in Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Salads, boy. We cannot think this, Miss Marlene. But it's looking good so far. Yeah. So that's 
going to be the whole salad there? Not yet. Oh. Probably. <laughs> Look at me this, man. Okay. How we stand so far? <clears throat> okay. All right. Getting be on truth. the side. Right? Be truth. Mm -hmm. Now, let us see what we have. We have some fresh That's basil. Good. We have the... Um, John, how you look? Looks good. You sure now? Yeah. <laughs> you look... <laughs> the fire turn now. Yeah, you have now. Good. Okay. Beetroot. What goes with beetroot? Let's put some arugula there. Mm -hmm. We'll put some basil. Right? All right. Cut it up. No. Boring beetroot. Some of that. We have some nuts. You could use cashew nuts from Barrel okay. Boom, right? Mm. We put some wild nut, whatever, make it feel like Christmas. Pecans. Put pecans, nuts. We got pomegranate here. I found some pomegranate by. Ooh. Wow. Put some of that there. So that's dried fruit. Dried fruit. I come back to that one there. What else going here? Basil again. What else? Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Oh, guess what I like to put on this one? What, what's that? Toasted coconuts. Toasted coconuts. That's sweet. Yeah, just like you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> we have toasted coconuts. How do you call toasted coconut? You take it, you grate it. You don't make squeeze it. You don't go squeeze it with milk. No. You don't make tablet. <laughs> push it in the oven. Yeah. Look yeah, but you could anyway. also listen. Well, just like how people use coconut milk from can, look, you could do this and toast it. Look, wow. look, mm. look now, the beet become and as when they think that is good, oh, we got oranges. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oranges. You can find this at CPBL. So this is can too, which makes yeah. it easy. Yeah. Now we look, it look okay so far? Yep. And now, Mr. Chan, make we put with vinaigrette what we make on the stove. Okay. So, we have beetroot. How do I make this again? Vinegar. That was vinegar, vinegar, water. See, we're good. What else did you add in there? Mm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Good. Sweet and sour. Why? See they know? Know that one. Do it thing. And there we have a beetroot salad. So that's the treat. Hmm. Okay. Me not like this kind of audience <laughs> because when we make salad, nobody gets excited. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, but those like that you can but have as a body. meal. Colorful. Mm -hmm. I love, that's lovely so far. <coughs> Three easy dishes so far. But it's nice. So it's a watermelon, mm -hmm. feta, arugula, honey, and lime vinaigrette with a little bit okay. of mustard. We have beans. Bean, black bean, red, red bean, bean, red kidney bean, black eye bean. Any kind of bean that you want. Any kind of bean. So back to the beans because then we can bring that back because Miss Mandy. And then the about. beetroot salad too was very easy. <laughs> you well, bake the beetroot. You bake the beetroot. The beetroot. Bake the beetroot. Till it's soft. Mm -hmm. And then make your and vinaigrette. Make a your warm vinaigr vinaigrette. Warm vinaigrette. Put nuts and oranges and we make a mess, you know, because we really cook, you know. Because we didn't bring it prepared, you it's know. It's the real deal over yeah, the man. side. So, because I can't take myself and Marlene clown my salad. We gotta Nothing make is salad. wrong with your salad. I eat bean salad. Mm -hmm. That's why I bring the um, napkin, you know. A big one. <laughs> we got the bean salad. All right. Good. Agule. Eat right. pot. No so. <laughs> so what are we gonna do to the bean salad? Cook the batam. John says he loves to cook. So. I, love, I love cooking. Yes, John? I love cooking. Yes, stop right there. Alright. All right. Make that get hot. The bean salad look boring, so we'll make this bean salad nice. So we'll make the bean, bean salad nice. Well, let's add some cherry tomatoes. This is from Belize too, you know. Okay. Cherry tomatoes. That's just a small version of the big one. A little bit more flavor. Too. Cherry tomato. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to finish everything, yeah. By the way, what I, I had the... Oh, we could add some celery for crunch. What else we got? Oh, we got scallion. Bye! We got everything. We got everything, my boy. Excuse me. Scallion. Ceboin in Spanish. Family to the onion. What else? Oh, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Papaya. How we make this bean salad nice? Green papaya. We have a problem in Belize right now. Papaya right. is scarce. Why? Is because of Hurricane Earl. They okay. drop easy. These are like planting tree. Come on, come on, planting tree. <laughs> and so, why green? Why green? Because then it's firm. And then when it's firm, I can manipulate it. Imagine okay. this was too ripe. 
Yeah. Yeah. Then it may be difficult to cut. So, papaya. No, Jan. I did tell you nice though. I nice believe one. you, I believe you. But you are it, man. Are we gonna add it to the bean salad? Add it to the bean salad because the bean salad needs sexiness. <laughs> That's like my lady said, I never planned this enough, gentlemen. When we are done by now. <laughs> but my lady said, make the bean salad nice. So we're gonna add it. Add it. Now we're gonna get colors. Can't tell me that they're not tropical. That's that are not bees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cucumber. Papa, you, you have cucumber. Boy, that cucumber from Megania, the um, watermelon one, see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying, boy. So, good to know you could add cucumber to, to the watermelon salad. Add cucumber to the watermelon salad, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I got avocado somewhere wrong here. How can you say avocado? Castillo? Uh, there's no, Castillo. none here. There's no so you want to add avocado to that? Bring that, boy. Show it just for me. Mm -hmm. No worry, we have minions. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So. You can taste now to see. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. All right. Forget that we said we did do salad now. We did do fish now. <laughs> So you, add, you actually add butter to... to Agile, yeah, because you want it nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. You add it to the end, but that went nice. But second, my lady, right? Mm -hmm. So I, we I, have I, fish. I couldn't check myself. I had to bring a piece of fish, but good to be there. <laughs> Just Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, where are we there? Black pepper, Black pepper. salad. Uh-huh. Skin side down. Where's the skin? Put the side down. Ah, there. Right there. Wow. And I'm thinking that we could do salad jam. Hey, jam. No, avocado. Avocado, we have picked at the middle, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do a thing there, and then we'll do a thing there, and we'll get a fat spoon there. But, my lady, again, we're adding more things to this salad. We only to make it better. We still add, we add papaya, black bean, corn, all the bean you could find. How can this not be delicious? <laughs> it is delicious. Ay, ay, ay. We had tomato, see, I cut the tomato, tomato and add, add it. Hey, we could put the onion in there. The green onion. Why, put this one there. Show this one, so. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, <laughs> yeah. Boy! All right. No. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Now, you know, most people don't cook like this in their kitchen, no, no, right? No, nobody like this. This, this is. I don't cook so anything and everything in our pot. I don't cook so neither. Okay. Usually, I got in there inside of me, that's it. <laughs> Boom. Fun it out. How do I look good? Yeah. Yeah, do a little something so. Ooh. Put a little lime so because if you put the lime it prevents it acid it prevents getting it from it getting black so since i have a lime already and i didn't plan it we're gonna put some lime there okay season that too make it at least seasoning since fish like lime put fish in put lime the too lime in fish. what else will they move now yeah we're moving i guess i, I excited when i see fish right <laughs> <laughs> but i tried and that's one. just simple oil simple. salt and pepper on the fish that's and it that's don't read now okay what else with it Delicious and like what what is the one put? Oh, I see some parsley here. Yeah, parsley. Oh, my nuts. <laughs> water chestnut. <laughs> Bring that. Which one? This one good nah. for crunch. By the way, yes, water chestnut. Mm -hmm. Good for crunch, see? Because when you bite this salad now, mm, it gives you a crunch. Easy. Something else, Melody. Mm -hmm, this one. Since well, Marlene reminded me, mushroom. Try the iPad. What are they? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I'm just amazed on, on exactly what you're doing. I'm just amazed. That's it. So can we go over the recipe? Because people at home are saying, okay, mm. I won't do what Sean do, which is throw everything in. Give us the basic recipe. The basic recipe. For this one. For this Black one, beans yes. and corn. All right. Papaya. I do really make it with papaya. Black okay. bean, corn, papaya. The seasoning, cumin, always. Salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika. Lime, 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 lime. lime. Always lime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Paprika, give it a little over there. That's a delicious salad, I do it all the time. Okay, Mente. that's the bean one. When avocado is in season, mm -hmm. put avocado. When mango is in season, put, mango. put it on the watermelon one. Oh, boy. So the watermelon, you really just want to balance out the mm -hmm. no, arugula and, okay. the, and the spinach. So you put that? Pan the fish now, pan the beans. You kidding? Boy, remember you said this salad now really hype up? Why can I not add protein to a salad? This is our restaurant meal by itself, my boy. You are kidding. Mm -hmm. Why, my boy? Imagine now. <laughs> oh. le. What left? A little bit of love and then you go so. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's looking. You this, huh? will, you eat, will you eat that now, Steve? No! The bean salad look good. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> boy! The rough no pan one. That's it. No, John! That, that looks good. Thanks to my lady, they can't be forget for that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't do nothing. You know, else. Sean, the difference is that we know you wouldn't do a plain bean salad, and that was a plain yeah. bean salad. So we knew we needed a little bit of pizzazz. Oh, you make your bean salad nice. Put pigtail and coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice to you. <laughs> I like what you talked about with the fish there, right? Yes. Tell uh, me about the fish. How the, the protein, you can add protein to add any one of these dishes. Add protein to Watch out. Okay. Drop the, chicken breast skin. You remember what it happened? Make we get maga, so make we get healthy. Yeah. Chicken breast skinless on a piece of bean salad like that. That's no, no lot of carbs. That's no carb, yeah. Beautiful. Nothing like Fiber, a, protein. Eh, watch out. Watch your thing, boy. Watch your colors. That, that's all. Always Michael Finnegan market in our plate. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bunch of flavors in a plate, right? Brother. And other things that you can serve the watermelon salad with or Watermelon the, the, salad is a great side to remember when on a hot day mm -hmm. as a, a precursor to your meal. You know, in the northern countries, we always have hot chowder soup with hot and mm -hmm. uh, thick, sorry, thick, heavy cream. Mm -hmm. When we eat that, that means we feel heavy, we can't walk, yeah. we want to go sleep. That like you eat hudot, you're sleeping. Yeah. But something like this, refreshing, you still, you know. You could have that as a meal in itself. Definitely, you got arugula, the balance, I will. And your beef? Look at that beef salad. Look mm -hmm. at the colors. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dog the dog out the beef. Boy, you got it. Go ahead. Try, 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 try. <laughs> All right. Thank you to the representatives of the Belize Chamber of Commerce and Industry and to those from Central Bank for joining us as well. Uh, remember that the new national payment system mm -hmm. uh, is launching tomorrow. Apps 3. That's right. Making life a lot easier for most of us. So mm -hmm. we look forward to that and congratulations to them on that. Sean? Didn't believe you could do it. We did some healthy dishes <laughs> and they're absolutely delicious. We did a little bit of sampling in between. We have no. to admit that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of <laughs> course, you can be able to do your own versions at home. You gave us some options there. Mm -hmm. And all our ingredients, we have to say a very big thank you. Our courtesy of Santiago Castillo Limited. You went to save you and, of yes. course, raided their shells, as you <laughs> typically do. Yeah. Um, and uh, thank you to them, of course. So, you don't necessarily have to cook the beans. You don't have to buy the fruit if you want to get the canned stuff. You can go ahead and just uh, pick it up at Save You. Yes, that's right. right. Well, excellent. Uh, we must say that uh, we are always graced with your presence. Always something new. And uh, this guy is a chef. He's not afraid. And that's the difference between a chef and a cook. Mm -hmm. Chef, they do what they have to do, blah, blah, blah. And they don't follow any recipe. When it comes to a cook now, you follow the recipe, this, that, that. <laughs> but we're always graced, like I mentioned. And uh, with all those segments that we had, we got a little hungry. So we're about to have some salad. That's right. As per usual, if you have any questions or concerns, what you do, you get on your computer or your phone mm -hmm. and you send an email to oye at channel5blees.com. And you can, of course, uh, send me an email at marleni underscore oye at channel5blees.com. You can always find us on Facebook as well and send us a message. Uh, but we want to thank you for joining us this morning. And remember to tune in tomorrow morning at 6.30 when you open your eyes. And you start your morning right. Remember as well, while we have these salads, remember to always keep your eyes, your mind, and your hearts open. We'll see you soon. was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank, and SMART, bringing people together.